What's the secret that allows a very small fraction of pre-medical students get accepted to multiple med schools versus the majority of applicants that get rejected from every school they apply to? I'm going to tell you exactly what those strategies are and it comes down to two specific strategies. But first, I want to tell you about our application review programs because we've been receiving a lot of different messages from students who are applying to med school in the upcoming season because they've been watching our videos and asking about more information. So I want to let you know quickly that our, uh, the link to our application review program rather is either below this video or above this video and you could simply click the link. This is going to take you to our website and it explains exactly how we could help you with the application process and helping you make your application stand out. And if you're interested, you can enroll. And of course, we'll see you on the other, other side and we'll start helping you with the application process. Now, going back to the two strategies that's normally used by most successful pre-medical students, which incidentally, it's also something that's used by most successful individuals in any field you could possibly think of. So what are they? Here they are. Strategy number one is speed of implementation. What do I mean by that? Well, individuals who are successful normally learn from an early age that as soon as they acquire a new knowledge or they learn a new strategy or tactic that's going to help them advance their career, they use it immediately. So as soon as they learn something, they start using that new strategy or knowledge immediately rather than waiting for the perfect opportunity or you know, procrastinating until later on. It's very obvious why that would help. So that's one. The second strategy that's used by most successful students and individuals in general is that they seek, I should say, they actively seek mentors. So if you look back throughout history, in fact, so, you know, even in the modern time, let's say you look at Mark Zuckerberg, you look at Steve Jobs, going back into history, you look at Albert Einstein, right? you go further back, you look at Alexander the Great and, you know, all the other individuals that we all admire, we always see them at their moment of glory, but we forget that this is not how they started. And in fact, a huge factor in their success over time was seeking mentors. The, uh, so the same way most successful individuals in history have used mentors, if you look at very closely at most successful pre-medical students, they usually seek mentors. Why are mentors important? Well, for the simple reason is, is the fact that when you have a mentor, you're going to significantly reduce the learning curve. There's no point for you to waste your time and money and energy trying to recreate the wheel when someone who is an expert in that field can tell you exactly what works and what doesn't work so you can learn from their mistakes and you don't make the same mistakes they have made in the past. So those were the two strategies that you should put to use immediately that's going to significantly increase your chances of success in life, not just getting into med school, which of course it does that as well. And those two are again, one, speed of implementation, two, seeking mentors. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, go ahead and share it with someone who's gonna enjoy it as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, whatever uh, social media you're watching this, and uh, like this video. And of course, if you have any questions for us, included in the comment section. We're going to get back to you and answer all your questions. That was it for me. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon.